couple of years back we were in the headquarters of Kia Motors and we were checking out the Seltos. Now today we are in Gurgaon at the B360 and this is where the world premiere of the Kia Sonnet is happening. Now the Sonnet is the brand's compact SUV which further aims at getting the Kia brand into the Indian depths. But before we do that, uh, we'll have a look at the car, we'll see what features it comes with and uh, well, as far as the driving is concerned, today is not the day, we'll get the car to drive in a couple of days. But today we can tell you all about the features, what it offers and stuff like that. But before that, do remember to subscribe to the Auto Today YouTube channel and press that little bell icon so that you get notified every time we go live with another video. So much like the Seltos, uh, the attitude of the Sonnet is also being sporty. They are also calling it the wild thing. So overall, the looks of the car are very different. It's not Porsche, it's not anything, it's just wild. It looks really nice, especially the Tiger nose grille is very prominent up front. You can see a lot of chrome treatment in the front, chrome and black, again a good combination. And we also like the silver treatment on the front bumper, scuff plates and things like that. Apart from that, we also get a nice LED headlight and of course DRLs are here with integrated turn signals so it looks really nice again when it's lit up it comes up as a bullhorn kind of thing when you're looking at it in the rear view mirror projector fog lights also there on the front bumper so overall the front end looks nice and sporty it actually looks really smart you know it doesn't uh, look small or anything like that then we have the 16 inch alloy wheels which look really nice again sort of diamond cut gives a nice look the wheel wells are pretty much filled up nice and cool looking again black and red treatment plastic cladding on the side check integrated turn indicators in the mirrors check chrome on the door handles check again red and black treatment very nice to look at nice broad shoulder line clear dimensions it looks really nice you know when you see it in person it looks better than what you would see in the pictures so my suggestion to you will be get out to a Kia dealership and have a look at the car before you make a decision again there is this uh, black plastic cladding out here which should have been a part of the windscreen but it is not but it looks different I, I am still undecided about this particular part of the car but I guess it should grow on you it's not a deal breaker at all but where the sonnet makes a difference is actually at the rear end you see this tail light cluster the light panel out here matches the one in the front it's like the drl replicated here and then there are these small little led chunks so overall this light looks really nice but what sets it apart is this reflector unit now this is not a lighting system it's a reflector unit but it gives the car a nice wide look this is what i like about it and uh, i think uh, the sonic design is going to go really well with the indian janta now let's pop the hood and tell you what's inside there you go now nice broad boot it's a flat area to load you can also flip these seats down but these are not split seats so if you want to put this down you have to put the whole thing whole seat back down uh, deal breaker not at all I think it's about time we got into the front end of the car and showed you what all the car offers inside I'm sure you're looking forward to it So we are inside the Kia Sonnet and just as the exteriors, the interiors are also very very nice and a very different approach to a center console and things like that. Now let's start off with the dashboard in question. Now this particular 10.25 inch uh, infotainment system is very reminiscent of the Seltos. Now what Kia designers have done is kept the theme the same as the Seltos so that the unit looks like a baby Seltos unit. Uh, this 10.25 unit is the largest in the class and it offers a plethora of functions now it's a touch unit and as you can see you can move around and it also comes connected with the uvo app now the uvo app will offer you around 75 functions and all of these are mostly over the air functions which you can operate via your telephone while using the uvo app apart from that this infotainment system powers seven bose speakers now just as the Seltos, the Sonnet will also get Bose audio system and these will be mainly the top of the line variants. So expect a lot of premiumness from this compact SUV. Apart from that you can see the center console. This is where 
your AC controls and things like that are. It's a very uniquely designed system, very uh, synchronous if I can put it this way. You can see the designs match and it looks very symmetric. What Kia is also offering is cooled seats. Now this is something which should work wonders in India considering the hot temperatures where which most of the country you know face at this point of time. So you press a button and your cool seats are on. So that's something which I like a lot and this is available for the front and front driver and of course the passenger. Now that's a very comfortable thing to have in a car like this. Apart from that you will also get wireless charging and the most important thing which uh, sets this car slightly apart is that it's got an air purifier system. So it's got an inbuilt air purifier system which should be a USP at this point of time when you can see me wearing a face shield and doing this PTC and talking to you about the car. So that's a very uh, different situation right now and surely a air purifier which is inbuilt makes a lot of difference in the car. As far as the instrument panel is concerned, I really like the approach. It's a digital affair, but I like the way the design has been done. You know, on the left hand side, you can see the tachometer. On the right hand side, you can see the fuel gauge and the temperature gauge, but it's a very symmetric design. So it's pleasing to the eye. And that big center display, which you see in the front is also something which gives symmetry. Again, this car is all about symmetry. As far as the steering wheel is concerned, it's adjustable and it also gets controls for various functions including your controls for the infotainment system and as well as the cruise control system which this car will come with. Now this particular variant I am sitting in does not get the wireless charging system but certain variants which is the slightly top of the line variants will also come with that. Apart from that plenty of storage space around, two cup holders here, there is a lot of storage space in the door pockets and then you also get a nice big storage box here so that's really really handy as, as far as I'm concerned you also get a sunroof in this particular variant and uh, let me tell you something else you see a six-speed gearbox out here now it might look very normal to you but this is the IMT so that means you get to shift gears but it's all clutchless you don't have a clutch to play around with so overall this is a very unique uh, system which is coming into the uh, sonnet the when you already get it and the sonnet will also get it much like that now let's go to the back of the car and see how the space is and let's see what all it offers at the back so we are at the rear seat of the kia sonnet and uh, let me start by saying that uh, it is not that bad as far as the space is concerned. It's a compact SUV, it's a small SUV, but yet it offers that kind of space. As far as the ambience is concerned, there are plenty of features at the back also. You get uh, rear AC vents and also a display for the air conditioning system. You also get a nice little armrest with integrated cup holders. So overall there's a lot of headroom as well and you've got that sunroof up in front. Apart from that, nice seating posture out here. I like the kind of... The materials you use these stitchings and all these look nice and premium so overall the back end of the sonnet is as impressive as the front end of the car now the kia sonnet will come with a host of engine options now what we expect is the standard 1.2 liter petrol engine the 1 litre turbocharged TDDI as they call it and of course the diesel 1.5 now the biggest uh, change out here is the gearbox options uh, what Kia say that the diesel variant will also come with a automatic transmission option and that makes it special apart from that you will also get the DCT and the IMT now this is the IMT version you see behind me and what it does is basically it has a gear system where you have to change the gears but there's no clutch the clutch operation is done automatically and as you can see there is no clutch pedal also it's only like an automatic car with a brake and accelerator pedal so overall that's something which will again make this car special and i think the imt gearbox should catch on well as the dcts and the cvts of the world but as far as this car is concerned i think of course the imt is a good option to have and it's something which we want to try out as well and as you can see we are inside the b360 the kia's own facility we are not driving the car today so for that, we'll have to wait for a few more days. 
Just like the Kia Seltos and the Hyundai Creta, the Kia Sonnet and the Hyundai Venue are based on the same platform. This also means that on paper these two compact SUVs are closely matched. Be it the engines, transmissions or even the underpinnings, both the Venue and Sonnet are close. Where they differ from each other is the way they look, the touch and feel and also the features. Adding to the advantage of the Sonnet is the fact that it is the only one to offer a diesel automatic variant. Now all that Kia needs to do is to price it right. Let's hope they are going to do that.